Hello, community. Our friends in China, Deep Seek, they have beautiful LLMs and beautiful VLMs and code generation. But today we look here at a brand new preview version. Deep Seek R1 Light Preview is unleashing supercharged reasoning power. And the main goal is here, of course, here to beat OpenAI O1 Preview. And if you look at their post, they say here, and this is November 20, they say our DeepSeek R1 Lite Preview is now live. And it has a O1 Preview level performance here in OSINT Mathematics Benchmark. And now you know me, we have to test this out. So before you will come into contact with this new model here from China, let's see if it is really on the performance here of O1 Preview. So we go there and we make a live test. But before, you remember O1, I tested it quite intensively two months ago. I started here when it fails, logic test, Feynman integral calculation, we explored the limits of O1. But I think much more interesting were these three videos. So I designed an extreme logic test for our strawberry, then we found a solution that even GPT-4 Omni achieves here the causal reasoning structure from Strawberry. But now we will use exactly this extreme logic test here. You find it here in this video. And I will run now the calculation with DeepSeq R1. So let's go there. So here we are now at the DeepSeq platform and I just inserted here the test and you see it's coming back and say, to solve this puzzle, we will systematically analyze the clues and use logical deduction to determine the correct association, step-by-step -step reasoning, and then the system starts. Now, as you can see, I have not activated here deep think. This is just the normal R1 without the special deep think activation that you can watch it. But I think it's really nice if you compare this to the OpenAI O1, use exactly how the system is internally reasoning, what it is thinking about. You see here the clues, they are now numbered. Then you have here the deduction process and the system is trying to come to a conclusion given that this is quite an extreme logic test. It is nothing special. It is just something that is complicated. It has a higher complexity level. This is all there is to it. Beautiful elimination, association. Okay, now we have here the clues integrated here in the reasoning pattern, beautiful. You know, it is as a simple matrix calculation. If it would understand that it could do this with code, but we are here only in a large language model. So we use here only the language logic that is applied. Unfortunately, it did not understood that it could do this, transfer this to any code sequence and have just an if or if not statement. And finally, so here we go through the complete code. And I want that this is in real time. So you see it one on one. And I tell you this is the only time that you see it in real time. The next test we will accelerate 10 times because otherwise this video is gonna get boring. So as you can see, it is fighting to go through this. It defines what it is not. It defines what it is. Since this was over there, try to make sense of all of this. And the final answer is here. And I ask him to put out a table and you have here the table and beautiful. So we have our seven wizards here and they have here the artifact. And here you have now all the clues and now we can compare this. And it's wrong. So now let's activate deep sync. We do exactly the same thing. And we say, this is it. And go. Now you see it's syncing. We get something similar to O1 and you see, but what's so nice is the sentences are really beautifully formulated. Look at this. These are all beautiful English sentences. Ah, it's a lot of to unpack here. I should think of this. Have a look. Cannot do this. Okay, so possible artifacts for this are A, B, C, D. What's left for this particular stuff? From clue, I can deduct this. Beautiful. Yes, possible. Okay. So just to tell you, this is now 10 times accelerated. So if you wait, if you see this in real time, it's 10 times slower. But I think we want to come to a conclusion. And is it now possible that we find a solution with this deep thinking on? 
And as you can see, you only have 50 messages per day for the free version. This here is the free uh, platform from deepseek.com. You have to give them the email address and then you are in and you can try it out yourself. So why not go there and do your test yourself? We are still waiting for this to come through. As you see, now that we can watch here all the thinking steps, the deep thinking happening here in real time. Wait, I can't think of this. It's so cute here. If you read what the system is thinking, this is so nice compared here to OpenAI 01, where you do not see what's happening inside here, the inference process. And if you have seen my last two video, this is exactly what's happening now in inference. The one video was here about a search algorithm for a Monte Carlo tree search, and the other one was for an optimized TTT star. So best of both worlds would be to combine this. And then if you get it right, you would see exactly like this. This is now the internal thinking here of our DeepSeek R1 preview model here. So top secret. But I think it's nice compared to O1 that you had a feeling where the system is, if it's in a loop, where is the argumentation taking place, it's going all the different clues, trying to find your all different combinations. Unfortunately, still not using a tool like a code implementation of if and if not. This can be done with less than two seconds if you compare or if you transform this in a Python code in the list structure. But anyway, we are here in a large LLM, so let's see. Yeah, it takes place. Yeah, magic, magic. Okay, faster, faster, even faster, come on. So if we have now here this deep thinking activating, what is the difference? You can see it's longer, it takes longer because it's now going I don't know exactly, but here we have now the final solution. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen, we have a final solution. Oh, beautiful. Gives you all the clues that are the major clues. So I would say, let's have a look at this. These are the mysteries of our seven little dwarfs. Beautiful. So here we go. Now, if we compare this, you will see it got it right. This is the correct solution. Beautifully. Now it succeeded. But do you know what? Yeah, you can read each sentence, compare here, you can go through the complete system. I did it already for you, but if you don't trust me, please do it yourself. Take your time, it's there for you, just pause the screen. And then we will have another idea and we will say now perform a validation of your results. Choose an alternative, a logic alternative. Now, as you see, I even <laughs> it's even faster now because I don't want to wait this again. I've already had some tries and you will see the result within the next 10 seconds. Yes, we're still with deep thinking activated. Okay, should be now every second. Come on. Yeah, here we have it. And now if you compare this, you will see for example, the crystal of time has a phoenix as a familiar and the crystal of time has chimera as a familiar. So you see, this is wrong. This is massively wrong. So the validation gave here the wrong result. And I say, hey, is this answer in any way different from the first table? Look, thinking. So I need to compare the two tables that were provided. Let me see in the first table. I say that the visit is this. And now this is so nicely narrated here. here. But now it goes again, now for the third time, our little deep seeker R1, the secret stealth uh, reasoning, goes through, starts to understand this. Look at this, starting with Avalon, this is the enchantment here and does not possess this and says the wizard who owns this particular item cannot do this and this contradicts clue three. So the sentence says that the system is generating. It is really, really amazing. Look, the two tables provided here show notable differences. Yes, of course. We found this. Gives me now the key differences for each single row. Tells me exactly what is the table one content, the table two content, and what is the conclusion. And the conclusion is table two is simply incorrect. So we have one correct solution, and this is it. Deep seek now R1 without deep sync activated. It fails to perform the task. 
DeepSeek R1 activated with DeepSync, it comes immediately to the correct solution. But if you ask to validate it, you get here the wrong solution. So now you have two different solutions for the same task. But then if you run again and you ask to compare, it tells you correctly that the first one with deep thing activated was the correct one. So this is here kind of a first impression here of DeepSeek or one. I think in the next week you will get maybe in contact with it, but definitely an interesting model. Will now depend on the upcoming license agreement and of course about the cost of this model. I hope I provided some basic first information. It would be great to see you in my next video.